Hey guys, watching Volgor's videos here for another beer review. Um, this is gonna be a revisiting. I don't usually do. Actually, I'm not. That'd be a complete lie. I have done a couple re reviews. Still reserve. Um, I think I've done natural ice again. I've probably done like four or five re reviews. Well, this one, I don't know if I've reviewed it on camera, but. I thought I hated it, so let me see. But a friend of mine who doesn't isn't drinks beer, but isn't like a beer connoisseur like me. Like I'll drink all kinds. He's you know doesn't really you know is a little bit more picky than I am. Said he he tried this and liked it. So I went to 7-Eleven. It's uh, 2:05 right now. Uh, there you go. And so I went there. And I uh, was looking at, well, there's only 105, or, you know, it's early in the morning. It's probably the only place open. And I was thinking maybe I'll have something, you know, like an IPA or something in the can. I can just have, you know, something good, uh, a good beer before bed, you know, just to quench the thirst and, you know, have a review at the same time. Well, they didn't really have anything for cheap like they had some other stuff for like two thirty three three dollars but I mean I could have bought that but nothing nothing really stu stood out this stood out because he said he had it and he actually liked it so I'm gonna use my giant beer mug this says beer five cents it's got a comb garage sale for 50 cents 12 karat gold by Colve or Culver. It's big. In fact, look how big it is. It's freaking huge. It's gonna be plenty big enough. Come on, camera, work with me. There we go. Alright, enough horsing around. Let's get this poured. Um Ice House is brewed by uh, the Miller Brewing Company, which now is conjoined with Coors. January 13, 14. Oh, wow. January 13, 14? That's very interesting. Today is... Okay. Yesterday was uh, December 13th. This right now is the 14th because it's, you know, 2 in the morning. But on the bottom of the can, I don't know if whatever you can see it, it says January 13, 14. My birthday. That's really crazy. That, I hope, I hope this beer isn't disgusting. Okay. Nothing smells too disgusting. Give it a pour. There, look at that. Look at that. Look at that pour. Look at that. That is the best beer glass you'll ever find. Mmm. All right. Since 1855, Plank Road Brewery. Mmm. Miller. This is it. It's got a decent head. It's got a lot of bubbles. Um, it's only 5.5%, which, you know, is the same as Genesee Ice, but I find that to be pretty decent. But maybe my taste has changed since then. Let's see. This thing's massive. You know, it still tastes like a corny beer. Um, hmm. It's 
got a funky aftertaste. You know, I used to call I I call it ice house shit house. You know, and uh, one time I got a, a six pack of ice house and I was really disappointed in myself that I accidentally chose ice house instead of natural ice. Uh, ice house is Miller and natural ice is Anheuser. Uh, you know, like Bush. Budweiser, um, but not only that, I remember natural ice being like almost no flavor, you know, how it has like the skunky smell, but it almost has, it doesn't have much of a flavor, you know, it's almost like water, which is kind of a good and bad thing, you know, you still want it cold, otherwise it's kind of like drinking dirty water. Not really dirty water, but just, yeah, kind of dirty water because it's, you know, it's not as thin as water, but, you know, it's, it's beer, it's not water. <laughs> Anyways, hope you understand. Um, but yeah, then I had Ice House and the easiness of natural ice compared to this, I don't know, I swear, natural ice is better. But then going back... It's not that bad. It's also a lot. It's a lot better in the glass, and um, I'll have a little bit left in there. That was foam. I don't know. It's definitely crisp and refreshing, but once you once you like taste other beers and you and you've grown a palate and like taste other stuff, this is basically like corny corny water. I mean, for those of you that I don't know, I mean, I wish I could be a better no, no better words so I'm describing, but. You got like those beers with a corny taste, and this is one of them, but it's also very thin and easy to drink. But at the same time, the more you drink, you get that that corny, mouthy kind of taste. Kind of like a a little bit like an MGD, but just thinner. At least that's what I think. It's definitely really, really clear and uh, carbonated. But MGD is only 4.5%. And this is 5.5. .5, so, you know, a whole 1% more isn't a whole lot. Yeah, my my rating for this is probably gonna be a. Let's see. Last time I gave Chang a six point five. I between Chang and Ice House, Chang was a little bit easier to drink. I don't know. They're very similar. Like they both have corn, but. This has like a metallic corn. So I'm gonna give it like a six point four, you know, it's it's you can do worse, but how much worse? I don't know. Like I haven't really given anything a low score because I'm not really all that picky. I, I, all I buy is cheap beers, so all I'm all I'm gonna drink is is cheap beers, except for the occasional pyramid and other stuff. I haven't bought a an more expensive one in a while because they're more expensive but um yeah I mean ice house it's okay I mean hmm 
You know, actually, I gave Ice House a lot of shit. You know, Ice House, Shit House, Out House. But really, I think I'd rather have an Ice House than a Milwaukee Ice. Because Milwaukee Ice is almost like too, too, um, overpowering. I don't know. If you had them back to back, it just depends on which one is colder, I guess. I don't know. But the uh, Milwaukee's best ice is 5.9%, so it has that going for it. This was a dollar eighty nine, I think. So that's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but just for just for under a dollar more, you could get a a forty of malt liquor, Mickey's, or they actually have a thirty two ounce of Mickey's. I've never seen or a twenty two ounce. It was a little bottle. It was like this. Of Mickey's. I've never seen a little ball like that of Mickey's. But yeah, I'd rather, I think I'd rather drink Mickey's. Um, but price wise, I don't know. I've never bought a, uh, actually, uh, yeah, I'd rather have a Mickey's. That's only 5%, but I don't know. <laughs> Try it for yourself, but, um, it's, it's okay, just, there's a lot better shit out there. If you say, this is good. I mean, say, really? There's stuff that's better, but I guess it's not that bad. I think Milwaukee Ice is a little worse, because I remember, I remember that being a little hard to stomach to get down. This, it went down pretty smooth. Maybe the ice house I had wasn't, wasn't that cold enough. I don't know, but... You know what? It it could be me, or the temperature, or whatever. It could be some circumstance, but I'd rather drink an ice house than a bush, and especially a Budweiser. So I'll give it that. I mean, between a Bud, uh, Budweiser, a bush, I drink this over that. But that's pretty unlikely because uh, this isn't as common. It's not uncommon, but not, eh. I'm okay at rambling, but anyways. Thanks for watching. Ice House. Classical music. I think I'm ready for bed.